Hi there. Today, let's talk about how to use the Git integration in Visual Studio Code for version control. Version control is a system that records changes to your files over time. You can save your changes, and you can also go back to specific versions of your file later if you want. I've already cloned repository to my local machine, so I have a copy of the code ready to go. In this video, we'll only be working with the code locally. If you want to learn more about how to work with remote repositories, check out the link below. Now let's go ahead and create a new branch so we can make our code change. Branches allow you to work on several different sets of changes at the same time without impacting the main version of the code. Let's open the command palette and go to the git create branch command and make up a title for our new branch. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can check what branch you're currently on. Let's go back and try that again. Check out the main branch by opening the command palette and looking for the git checkout command. Then choose main. You'll see the branch name in the bottom left corner change to main. Now let's check out the change title branch again. Next, let's make some changes to the code. We want to change the contents of this string to say my app instead of express. In the gutter next to the line number, a blue line will appear next to lines where a change has been made. A green line pops up when there is a new line. If we remove a line, a red arrow indicates that. The source control icon in the activity bar is showing a one icon, which means that we've changed one file. If we select the icon, we can check out which file we changed. Selecting the name of the file will show you a side-by-side -side view of all of the changes you've made. If you go to the dot 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 menu in the upper right-hand corner, you can toggle inline view to view the changes together in one window. You can review your code and even make changes from these views. Now we're ready to stage our change and commit it to our local machine. If you hover over by the file name, you'll notice a couple of icons. You can open the file, discard your changes, or stage the file. Up above, you can discard all of your changes or stage all of your changes. This is useful for when you've made changes to more than one file. After you've staged your changes, write a commit message and select the check mark to commit them. The commit only affected the new branch we can check this by switching back to the main branch. The old string still shows up here. If we want our change to affect the main branch, we can merge our change title branch into main. Select the Git menu and go to Branch, Merge Branch. We'll choose our change title branch. Now the string change will show up on our main branch. In the Git menu, you'll be able to see many more options for working with Git including more advanced actions like stashing. For more information about how to use Git in VS Code, head over to our version control documentation. I hope you enjoyed following along and learning the basics of Git version control in VS Code. Be sure to check out the resources below to keep learning. Happy coding!